All right, so I have a match uh, six days from now on Sunday. I'm going to the Massachusetts IDPA Championships. I'm like, yeah, what class am I going to? Anyway, I have to practice because I have a gun that I'm planning on using in competition that I don't normally shoot in competition. This is my CZ 75 P01. Normally, I'm shooting a Shadow, which is way bigger than this one. This one has a much different trigger than my competition. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is assess how accurate I am with this gun. So, when I start my um, practice, first thing I'm doing, I put a paster up. And then, my job is to put five rounds into this paster. And the point of this drill is as slow as I need to be accurate to be able to hit this paster. And that's it. Let's see how it goes. Alright, so I've chosen five yards as my starting point with my firearm. We'll see how it goes. Eyes and ears. I know. <laughs> but I'm trying to figure out my play picture with this too. So let's see if adjustments will work. So I did a center hold on that one. So let's see how six o'clock hold goes. Hmm. Still a little bit off. Closer. All right, now I've got consistency going for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a fail uh, because not all five bullets hit the paster. So now we'll paste and start over again. All right, so repasted. What did I learn from my first five shots? When you are practicing, these are the questions you'd ask after every shot. What is your purpose for doing the thing that you're doing? And what did you learn when you did it? So for me, I now know this gun is more of a six o'clock hold versus a center hold, at least for when I'm looking at it. For some reason, I'm pulling a little bit off to the left, so that's something I need to pay attention to. Could be my sight alignment, could be my trigger finger. I'm not sure what yet, but I have more bullets in the gun, so we're going to try that again and see what happens. So that counts because I hit the target and I hit the black thing. <laughs> I still hit the edge of the black. I think it still counts. That's much better. I can see through the black thing now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, that's what happens when you get cocky. You then fail. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much always what happens in shooting. You do what you want to do, and then like, yay, let's do that again. And then it doesn't work out so well. All right, last one.
All right. Well, almost <laughs> four out of five. One, two, three. All right, so here's the deal. Probably the hardest part when I was learning this drill is to go slow enough. Um, you know, five yards is not a ton of distance. However, it's not as close as you might think to be able to hit that. When I started this drill, I used to start at like three yards, sometimes two, depending on the day. But it was still the going slow and really working on that trigger pull. It was kind of the big thing. All right. Next round. Last one, hopefully. Let's make sure I don't get cocky this time. And actually get all five. Because I can't move on from this drill until I get all five successfully. Because that's what my coach told me. And I could just give up now. I could. Why not go now? Let's see if I get five consecutive on there. Bang, bang, bang. I don't know. Cameraman, can you zoom in? Did I hit it? Did I not hit it? We can count it if we really want to, but I don't think I don't think it would hold up in court. No, no, all it has to do is grease reading has to be touching. That's it. <laughs> <sighs> that's better. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll start counting from there. So that's one. I think that's three. I'm done with my warm up drill. Eh. Um, so now I can do the next thing, which is going to be drawing and shooting one shot. And the reason I'm going to be drawing and shooting one shot is, like I said, this is a new gun for me in that this is a different trigger that I'm used to. With production in IDPA, I have to have this decocked, which I already did before I put it in the holster, in order to shoot the production division. So my first trigger pull when I'm drawing is a lot longer than when I am shooting the rest of the shots. So I know one of the things I have to get more comfortable with is that longer trigger pull. So we're gonna go see if we have a timer or not because measuring your speed and accuracy together is what helps you learn how to advance. So let's go see if we can find a timer with us. All right, so we didn't bring a timer with us, but I have a plan anyway. So now I'm at 10 yards from a plate rack and I'm still going to do the same drill. I'm just not going to have the feedback of the time, but I will have the instantaneous feedback of whether or not I hit what I'm aiming at. So without the time, it's not as good, but it just shows that next time I actually use my checklist before I come down to practice. I think I have three or four shots left in this from that last magazine. So my cameraman here is just going to tell me to go at some point and then I will draw. Um, IDPA rules though, right? So let's make ready, done that. Are you ready? Done that. And then stand by. And once after he says stand by, he can then say beep and I will go. Alright, stand by. Beep. Oh that's a seriously long trigger pull.
Stand by. Go. Alright, so that was crappy on two parts. One that I missed. Two, I missed going into my holster. I like hit this part instead of getting a clean grip. So I'm going to have to practice with these pants and um, work on just the movement from here to here without looking. Stand by. Go. All right. That's all I have for that. Are you ready? Ready. Stand by. Go. myself a little advantage. Are you ready? Ready. Stand by. Go. Are you ready? Ready. Stand by. Go. Oh, that would not have been a zero. <laughs> You can tell by the sound that the uh, bullet hit the tray and then ricocheted off. So we painted those just before we went. Oh, hey, so just do one more. Are you ready? Ready. Stand by. Go. You know, sometimes you just got to do that anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so what I started to say was that we painted all these just before. So come on up. <clears throat> the one that I said is definitely not going to be a hero is this one because I hit probably here, but I probably also nicked just right there because it had a different sound to it. This one, also I hit crazy low. It would have been in the zero if it was an IB, IDPA target, but look, ta-da! This is why we paint, so we can have fun and say, look, that was the perfect shot. Now, the first time I drew to this one, I missed it. So the second one, I made up for it by being totally awesome. These ones aren't bad hits. And then that was the last one. Which was a perfect hit on the first try, as you all know. <laughs> it was so not, because I was high, and I finally came down to it. All right, that's that.